Hello there, my grateful and beautiful fans. I'm here in Jerusalem, in the holy city, the holy land in Israel, recently deemed the new embassy of the United States. Thank you, Trump. And I want to talk to you about creating a, a model for efficiency. How do you actually build your, your paradigm for getting things done, for, for what's a good use of your time and a bad use of your time? How do you actually structure your day? So I want to share with you the way that I do it and the way that I learned that is the most efficient for me. And I really hope that if you connect with my personality and the way that I kind of go about things, you'll be able to take that and use it starting today. So the first thing I do is map out the areas of my life that I'm looking for abundance in. And when I say abundance, I don't mean like I want to have a bit of that. I mean, I want to have as much as possible. So what is an example of some areas like that? So for me, the four key areas where I put most of my emphasis is my relationship with my soon to be wife my fitness, meaning my health and, and just being strong, my business, meaning my income and my finances, and finally my fame or my impact, meaning being able to impact others. Now, the way I go about my day, and um, again, this is how I do it and it really, really works for me. I actually uh, track my time. I have this Excel spreadsheet that I made in Google Sheets where I write every day in increments of 30 minutes what I did during that half an hour. And my day would, you know, my, I, I'm not planning it ahead of time, but I'm, I'm tracking it as I do it. So I'm constantly with my finger on the phone, just every hour or so, just updating it. It's very natural when you really uh, value your time and you actually care about being efficient. So, Again, what I do is I write down um, what I did in that half hour. So maybe I'll write working, maybe I took a break, maybe I, I, will, I just didn't do anything. It was just aimless time wasting. So I'll just track what I did. And then at the end of the day, what I'll do is look back and ask myself, how did I spend my time? Was my time well spent? Did I actually spend this time moving forward? Did I actually spend this time moving forward. And I'll give you an example of something that happened today, actually. Um, so we went with my fiance to here in Jerusalem and uh, her sister had a birthday. So I was hesitant to go because uh, now that I'm tracking my time, it's not like, oh yeah, let's just go because actually I'm going to track that. So let's say it took like four hours. I'll track four hours of basically just sitting there and smiling. Yeah happy birthday blah, blah, you know but I don't I don't really like care about that like I care like it's nice but it's not moving me towards my goals so I'll feel bad about it you know because it, it the whole point is you spend your time moving towards your goals increasing the areas where you want abundance and this does not do that uh, by the way the same if you just for example if I just spend time with my fiance but it's not like dedicated to her it's like I'm half with her, half working. So it's not really working, it's not really with her. I also consider that kind of wasted time. So you wanna also be very deliberate about your time. I just, when you spend time with your relationship, do that. When you spend time working, do that. And when you track t your time, you can actually see that. Like, did I actually do this or that? And if it's both, then it's none. You know, it has to be very specific. Unless you specifically decided to work, to spend time with her working on the business, for example, and that's a really good way to, to do two things at once, which is an amazing way to be efficient. Anyway, going back to the story of uh, her sister. So what I did, because I'm doing 30 minute increments in my tracking, I actually look at time in uh, 30 minute increments. So. Uh, every time I'm like, oh, this 30 minutes is about to end. So how will the thir next 30 minute look? And it, it actually makes like, you know, time is an invention. So it actually brings order to the whole thing called time. You actually start looking at time in increments and you ask yourself, is this block of time well spent? Will this block of time be well spent? So you really want to focus on your increments. 
And by the way, Bill Gates, uh, I read that he measures his time in five minute increments. So he actually has five minute meetings, which is really awesome and insane. Uh, hope to get there one day, but I also hope it's not too micromanaging. Anyway, uh, so we got to the, to the birthday thing. And what I did was I said, okay, I'm willing to allocate one increment of 30 minutes for the party. So I wrote down one increment, 30 minutes, party. And that's considered a waste of time, but it was deliberate. So I said, okay, I'll do that. And then what I said, I told my fiance, uh, look, I'm gonna have to go work now. And I actually took my laptop with me. I sat on the other table and I worked. And her, her brother even got interested and started asking me questions about what I was doing, uh, which was just another really cool way of kind of bonding while doing something productive. And that's how I actually took something that could have been like four hours of a waste of time and turned that into very, very, very efficient, basically three and a half hours of work and half an hour of kind of mingling. So this is the way that I structure my day. Again, I, I break down the main areas of my life that I want abundance. And these are the areas where I can never spend too much time. So I can never spend too much time working out or making money or just having a really good time with my fiance because these are the things that I want to have an abundance of in my life. And then again, track your time in 30 minute increments. I'll put a link to the, to the Excel sheet that I use kind of like a template so you can use it yourself uh, if you want to try that. You can also use an app to track your time. And then every day at the end of the day, review how you actually spent your time. Was your time well spent? Did you actually spend most of your time doing the things that uh, were productive or were you actually wasting a lot of time? Uh, which of these activities could you have dropped? So let's say you notice you took an hour break. You can ask yourself like, did I, did I really need that break? Or was it just kind of like laziness and it just kind of started becoming unfocused? And I said, okay, I'll go on a break and just end up wasting my time. So these, uh, this thing of tracking, like when you actually track your time every day and look at what you're doing, that makes you super efficient because every day you're noticing flaws in your behavior. You're noticing flaws in the way that you've uh, run your day. Like you notice it was not optimal it could have improved, been better. So you make a mental note or actually like a very uh, public statement, like, okay, I'm not gonna do this again. I'm gonna change this to from tomorrow. I'm not gonna do that. Or I'm gonna plan my day accordingly. And then what happens is you get like 1% or even 5% better every day in tracking your time and measuring it and actually using it properly. And this will make you into a beast because gradually you'll start asking yourself, wait, maybe I don't have to do, you know, half like two hours of working and two hours of uh, time with my friends. I can actually spend time with my friends working and that would be like our both goals at the same time. Or maybe I don't have to do five hours of cold calls. Maybe I can actually hire someone and that will free up those five hours to do something else. Well, sorry. So it's actually uh, a never ending uh, improvement cycle for getting better. So here I'm climbing these uh, really weird stairs. Anyway, I hope this video helps you. I'll be in this jungle environment till I get home. And um, I hope it helped you. And let me know if you have any questions. Again, I'm really ha happy to be back making videos. And uh, see you soon. Let me know if you want any specific kind of video. Talk soon.